Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. I want to come here today and speak a little bit about this comment. Uh, a sister says, you know, all of these uh, men coming back from uh, Afghanistan and uh, Vietnam War, you know, they have flashbacks and come back home with bipolar disorder or something or stress disorders and all this kind of stuff. Now, are they crazy, she says? She asks, are, are these men crazy or something? Well, now, sisters, you have to understand, the military is mostly dominated by men. Mostly men are in the military, fighting overseas. Now, they see a lot of shit over there. Sometimes they're in a light combat zone. Sometimes they're in a heavy combat zone. Artillery's being fired all over the place. They're getting shot at. LED bombs. They're, they're searching out, sniffing for some LED bombs planted under the, the earth. You drive by and you blow up your tank or something. Blow up a military vehicle because you hit an IED. Okay, these men have to be cautious. There's always a mission that they're, they're to do. Now, sometimes it's a, a small mission, sometimes it's a larger, more comp challenging mission. You know, it could be an easy mission, or it could be a difficult task or mission. But they're assigned with missions to overtake and to undergo, go ahead and take care of that mission right there. They're commanded, and they, they go ahead and take orders and do what they've been commanded to do, whatever the mission might be. Now, they're heavily trained. Firearms, they can tear apart a machine gun, put it back together like no time. Put it together in no time. They're heavily trained in basic training. They have drill sergeants training them. They will take orders. With whatever they're commanded to do, they will accept that and take those orders and carry out that mission. And they see a lot of shit overseas. There's a lot of combats going around there's a lot of little wars little missions little combats going on around here around the world all around the world we have these little small missions being taken out take out this individual take out those take out that target eliminate this eliminate that search for the bombs clear make sure it's clear you know that there's all these kind of missions going on and a man over here overseas sees a lot of shit then he comes back home to America. Okay, you know, a man tends to go in life by his life experiences. What he's experienced in life is what he learns from. That's how he gets educated. He goes by what he knows because that's what he's been trained. That's the way he's lived. So is he crazy for having flashbacks? Is he crazy for being having these stress disorders and all this kind of stuff? Post-traumatic stress disorder and bipolar and stuff? It's most likely all the crazy, crazy, bizarre situations he's been put in overseas. He could have very well possibly Seeing his life nearly flash right before his eyes. Whenever that bullet whizzed right by his right shoulder. He could have he could have had to have been ordered to kill a man. He could have killed some folks. You never know what these men who've been overseas fighting in these wars, you never do know the kind of craziness and bizarre nightmares they have had to deal with. Shalom. Shalom.